local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. And we start out the afternoon with a decent amount of sunshine. A few high level cirrus clouds coming into the area from south to north. Those aren't really going to go producing any kind of rain, but you see the thicker moisture into parts of South Carolina, the sand hills of North Carolina and moving toward areas like the Outer Banks. Now that storm system eventually gets closer to us and gives us the chance for some spotty showers and thunderstorms. And you see that chance a little bit greater later in the afternoon south of US 460. So areas like Covington and Lexington and Buena Vista have a lesser chance of getting wet than maybe Rocky Mount Hillsville, Martinsville or Danville. OK, so as we head deeper into the evening, these things start to kind of fizzle out a little bit. And so overnight we're left with some clouds, maybe a stray shower by Wednesday morning as we start to see the air coming in from the east and southeast. That's a little more moisture coming in from the Atlantic and once again gives us the chance for some spotty showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday. These coming from the east and moving toward the west. So for today, we still have a few hours to heat things up. We'll be around 90 in areas like Roanoke and Lexington, Lynchburg at 91, Martinsville and Danville in the mid to upper 80s, Blacksburg around 86. And by tomorrow, we'll not quite as hot. We'll be in the middle to upper 80s from areas like Roanoke North toward parts of Allegheny, Botetourt and Rockbridge counties. But a lot, a lot of us in the low to mid 80s, including areas like Martinsville and perhaps areas like Withville as well. So as far as watering the garden, if you haven't done so already today, good day to do that, although it is heating up a little bit tomorrow. We'll put it as a maybe as we have a few more storms coming in, but then by Thursday things start to heat back up for us. So we really find ourselves in an opposite situation of what we had this time last month. So for the month, areas like Lynchburg, Roanoke and Blacksburg are about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch below normal, whereas Danville is doing OK. But yeah, we're starting to fall behind just for the month for the year. We're still ahead of schedule, but by Thursday, our storm system still going to be hugging the coast of North Carolina will be hot and mostly dry behind that. Then another system coming in from the west that gives us a better shot of some showers and storms heading into Saturday. So we kind of follow this trend of dry mornings and then scattered storms in the afternoon. So if we do see some clear skies, expect to look toward the east and find Venus shining at its brightest in our morning sky throughout the week. So for the New River Valley, low to mid 80s, that's the name of the game here as we go through the next three days. Again, today you may see a spotty storm. Tomorrow you may see a spotty storm. By Thursday, I think the better chance is going to be a little bit farther to your east. By Friday, maybe a storm or two as temperatures start to heat up, middle to upper 80s. Decent shot coming in Saturday with less of a chance for storms by Sunday. You'll see that as well in the Roanoke Valley extended forecast. This including Botetourt, Rocky Mountain, Smith Mountain Lake, just to name a few places. Temperatures 85 to 90 today, 80s tomorrow, and then 85 to 90 once again on Thursday. We'll start to heat things back up by Friday in the upper 80s and lower 90s with the better shot of storms by Friday, mainly in the mountains. We start to see a slightly better chance by Saturday, a slightly lesser chance by Sunday, but nonetheless going to be hot out there this weekend. High temperatures in the upper 80s and lower 90s.